Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Monday, April 27th, 2009. Well, we're seeing a kind of a whippy day on Wall Street today, folks. I want to go over all the technicals on my charts. You can see there's a key level that was just tagged about two minutes ago that's very, very intricate in this market about why we're getting a bit off of that. I'll explain that in a minute. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about what this market is doing. First of all, the Dow is lower by about 15 points. The NASDAQ lower by about 5, and the S&P lower by about... Oh, about four points. Now, the key is this, guys. When you're talking about a market like this, you can see the resiliency in this market. We gapped down today, again, on fear of this swine flu outbreak, which has, again, killed people in Mexico, sickened people in the United States. But overall, the market has shrugged it off again, at least earlier this morning, and continued to rally up. Now, why? Well, look at the gap down today. Here's where we closed on Friday. By the way, the sell candle on Friday was tremendous. For those of you that watched my weekend video, you can know what I discussed about that. But nonetheless, huge sell candle on volume on Friday. It actually regained in the last minute or so a good half of that sell candle as it was all the way down to the 50, then recaptured most of that pattern here back up here. But the long story short, the volume on that last candle was tremendous. Now, th what did that tell us? Did that tell us that we were going to gap down on Monday? Well, maybe. You know, we're not really sure exactly. But the long story short, folks, you saw a gap down today on the swine flu outbreak and fear of a pandemic. Again, those of you that want to learn about a pandemic, read the 1918 outbreak of influence in the United States and all over the world there. Truly amazing stuff to read into it, how destructive it was to mankind. But again, the key here is this. When the market you know, gaps lower, and we saw this many, many days. We've seen this last week. We saw it today again. When the market gaps lower, you're getting an underlying bid in the market. And look at this. From the gap down, it gapped right into a major support line. What support line was this? Well, all you have to do is go back to the green line and look at the low of the day on Friday. The low of the first candle of the day was right here at 8560. 85.65. Where's the low, the opening of this market? Right on that exact print, basically. You sold a little bit, you tested this lower trend line, started to create this lower trend line, and then rallied up. You rallied for three consecutive time frames into 10 o'clock. Remember, 10 o'clock can be a little of a sell or a reflex uh, bounce or a reversal time frame. You get a one bar sell, then a, a touch of the lower trend line again here, the green line, and at which point you start to rally up. And this was an intense rally, folks. We rallied in reverse. Look at that engulfing candle, engulfing green bar all the way to the upside, taking out this red bar in total, all the way up and started rallying right to about 11.30, 11 o'clock, 11.30, at which point you started to hit into some major resistance lines. Gap fill was basically right here, folks, and you really barely stopped. You basically paused on that for a small amount of time and then continued up. Where did you go to our next level? What does it coincide with? Look at this pivot right up here on Friday. See how these levels are so intricate on how you analyze the markets? I mean, it's, it just tells you every key level to watch for. Really a no-brainer. The market traded sideways here and then down, so obviously that's going to be a major level. What about this yellow trend line? Well, you see, can see the pivot point right here. You sold off and you pivoted back up, also coinciding with the last candle low of the day. Sure enough, when did you pull back on this candle? Where did you go? Right to that yellow line before rallying up. So again, we went all the way up to this pinkish trend line right here, which coincides with this point. At which point you started to sell off, you retested the highs, in fact you broke the high of the day, but you could never get through. And you had a little double top there in the charts, which was telling you there should be a good sell off, especially once you got this tail. Notice the tail here folks, that's a bearish signal, you broke the high, but you never closed above the high, you never took out this very high right here by closing above it. So that's the key. Yes, you took it out on an intra-candle basis, but it's all about closing and confirmations. So all said and done folks, the levels on my chart match up beautifully to everything we had just from the last two days last week. And that's the beauty of it. It's, it's sometimes nice when you only have to go back a day or so or two days in a chart to get the key levels. And that's exactly what we did today. Green line matches up with the lows of the day or the gap window from Friday. Yellow line matches up beautifully with this point right here and the closing candles low. All right. Uh, pink line matches up with the pivot point before we broke it later in the day and then I had the yellow uh, the white line in right above here where just in case we broke higher that would be your next resistance spot since then we have not in fact we've been selling relatively hard not fast but just continual red candles coming all the way back down now I want to show you this see this pink trend line this really like brighter pink trend line that's sloping up like this look at where this comes from scanning all the way back take the low of the day on Thursday connect it through the lows here on Thursday late in the day connected to the low of the day today and look at every candle after that you're hitting is support so you get that line by connecting these to this first point 
Then what you do is draw that in on this pullback right to here. You get that again. And then look at what we're hitting right now. This is support. If this breaks, it opens up the possibility for a sell-off to minor support right here. There will be minor support right here, folks. See how you had the pivot close and then the retest and down and then you closed back above it and got back above here? That's telling me there'll be minor support. Also, if you continue to draw that line across, the opening candle's high close was right there as well. So that'll be minor, just minor though, folks, as we are starting to break down. And this is looking better and better on the short side if we can close below this line. Remember, it's still intra candle. We're about to close this candle. We'll get more information towards the end. There we did. We closed this candle. That could yield more selling if we confirm this candle. But nonetheless, you'll have minor support here at about $86 even number support then after that you're gonna have mega support at 85 65 to 85 70 which was really the point right here anywhere between 85 60 and 85 70 should be very good support look at the continued selling going on here folks very very nice as this market is starting to sell uh, only down about you know you know not even a full percentage point on any of the indexes S&P down about five points Dow down 27 and the Nasdaq lower by about seven and a half but nonetheless very very nice sell-off coming from a double top hit of this beige trend line or pinkish trend line light pink trend line and again just notice the symmetry now up move pull back double top down move look at the symmetry forming here does this mean we test the lows of the day today at some point later today only time will tell the other thing I want to point out if you see your volume candles down here look at the up move here light light volume you're starting to pick up volume on the sell-off that's a good sign as well that's something we had pointed out to our premium subscribers obviously our premium subscribers know which way we're positioning ourselves and that's all comes with the research center folks if you're in the chat room or the research center you get it all the research center gets my nightly videos of 30 to 35 minutes of hardcore technical analysis on the markets on the oil front, on gold, on the dollar. I tell them all the entries I have on my swing trades overnight, uh, the positions, whether or not I've sold any of them in that nightly video. We have the Pro Trader watch list, which tells people the positions our pro traders are looking for certain stocks, ETFs, markets. Also, you have the nightly and uh, daily analysis uh, report, which is even more hardcore, giving you exact levels to watch. And these levels are second to none, folks. Those of you that have had it or that have it and are watching these videos know what we're talking about. Nick, my partner's levels are second to none. Have never found anyone out there. I don't care who it is on TV or anyone to have better levels than him. Um, in addition, hidden gems, uh, technical tactic of the month, fantastic educational learning. Again, our goal, folks, for those of you that are interested in our research center, is to teach you how we come up with these numbers while guiding you. That's it. We want to teach. That's our mantra. Teach everyone. Make them be able to fish for themselves, not just give a fish. All right, folks. Again, just a note here, the selling. Watch for support down here on this chart. In addition, if you break this, this line right here, this pivot point right here, this minor support, then you will go test this uh, green line later today, most likely. So watch those two levels. If you get a bounce and you recapture this trend line here, this is a big break to me, guys. By the way, this pink trend line is a very big break to me. All right, we'll have to see how that reflects, but the fact that we're below it, if we recapture it, it's all off the table, but right now, as long as you're below it, this tells me we could be headed lower for the rest of the day to some of these major supports right down here. You can see here this blue trend line, it coincides with the gap fill, so gap fill on my 10-minute chart would be right there, very, very key. After that, the 200 moving average would be right here or wherever it is at that point in time. Keep a close eye on this, guys. Very, very interesting, very important stuff right now to be watching in this market as this market is seeing some selling. Financials are a little weak. You have Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley all lower. However, Goldman Sachs is still up about 75 cents. Real estate um, is getting hit a little bit today, along with, obviously, airlines and transports on this swine flu outbreak. All right, there are a lot of people worried that people aren't going to be driving around, aren't going to be flying around because they don't want to catch the swine flu and so forth. We'll see if that continues today, folks. You're getting a little bit of a bounce here. Again, watch for confirmation. We need to see confirmation of this breakdown by a close below this low. If that happens, you probably go test this low. Again, should it, it get wouldn't be negated if you close back above this pink trend line right here. This pink trend line, a very, very big thing for this afternoon in my book. All right, last but not least, I want to flip to the 60-minute, show you the 60-minute chart. You can see here, the key here in my book is you never took out this point going back um, till a week ago from Friday. Even on Friday's rally at the highs, you never took that out. That's something to watch. You're going to have good support. If you continue to sell here, the 20 moving average, which by the way was tagged today, will be good support again. That's right around 85, 75 or so, 85, 80. Again, sloping up as it slopes up. So watch that to be a little key level to watch. All right, nonetheless, folks, we'd love to have you along with us in the chat room. It's the greatest learning experience we feel you'll ever find, plus the guidance is second to none. Same thing goes for the Research Center. You can find it at inthemoneystocks.com. Have a wonderful day, folks. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.